guys, it's Claudia. Um, I'm preparing my dinner. Um, we're having baked rigatoni's, um, and I figured I would give you some tips about cheese. Um, we love cheese in our house, um, and I'm sure lots of you do too. So um, just a couple tips about shredding your own cheese, and I'm sure some of you who've been to one of my parties know why you should always shred your own cheese, right? So I'm going to leave this open here for a little bit and see if anyone jumps on and wants to um, maybe comment on why you should always shred your own cheese. So as you're coming on, um, I'll keep asking that question until I'm done telling you all about cheese. Um, if you don't know yet, I'm Italian. We love cheese. So I'll give you some tips about cheese. So I'm going to turn around my camera real quick. So um, we love Parmesan cheese, and I always recommend shredding your own um, so you can buy a block at the store. And um, this, I got this at Trader Joe's. So this is actually the real, real Parmesan cheese. Gran Padano is a real Parmesan cheese. And the way you know it is that it's got um, the name like engraved in the cheese, okay? So yes, this is not cheap, right? Four bucks for a little piece like that. But I can sh show you um, how much cheese you will get from one of these tiny little cubes actually shred yourself. So I already pre-shredded some right here, but I'll shred some for you guys. Um, but you can see that if you were to compare this to your craft green bottle, whatever, I don't even know if it's real cheese, but um, it would definitely look totally, totally different, okay? So just invest in a good cheese grater. If you need a hookup, you know where to find me, right? This is the microplane one. All you do, because I do get a lot of comments on this, all you do is just push it, this you push it towards you and then it unhooks so you, it so it stores flat it's kind of hard to do with one hand so it stores flat um, in your cupboard so it doesn't take up a lot of space it comes with this safeguard here because we don't want to grate our knuckles and um, you just either shred this way or you can shred whoops flat like this right on top of your bowl okay so give me a shout if you shred your own piece or if you have the small grater or the big one and then basically all you're going to do this is comes in two pieces right comes apart you slide this on you stand. <laughs> all right you slide this on let's see if you guys can see this slide it on right put the little cube look at this i have a bowl here so we can measure how much we get so it's one little piece, right? Fits right in here. Just stuff it in there. You put the cover on it. Again, you don't have to use a cover, but don't call me that you grated your knuckles off. So we have some people joining us. So if you know why you should grate your own cheese, guys, comment below. We'll see what the answers are. And then um, I'm going to grate this real quick, and let's see how much Parmesan cheese we get from one little cube, right? So if you grade your own cheese, give me a shout out. Tell me why you should always grade your own and not buy the pre-shredded cheese. So I'm still working on this little piece that I put here. Whoops. And this is the piece, right, that stays here and that you can eat when you're at your house. So you'll see this was one little piece of cheese. It was about this size. Oops, this size right here. We're going to put it in a bowl so we can measure it. I'm all over the place. All right. Give me a shout out if you're on. Tell me why you should grate your own cheese or if you grate your own cheese, why. So look at this. All right. This is about, let me see, um, half a cup. Half a cup of shredded parmesan cheese from one little cube like this and I can guarantee you that even just a tablespoon or two tablespoon of this will give you such a stronger flavor um, with your dish okay compared to pre-shredded cheese especially though the craft one that's not even refrigerated guys that's just not nice. <laughs> so if I can help you and you grade your own Parmesan cheese, and if you tell me that, you know, Claudia, we don't use a lot, I'm going to buy this, grab a piece, and then it starts molding, here's what you do. You take this, cut it into little chunks, like this one, right? 
put it in a Ziploc bag, freeze it back, freeze it, okay? And as you start cooking, as you're boiling your pasta, whatever you're doing, starting your recipe, just take it out, let it sit at room temperature for 10 minutes, and as long as you have a sharp grater, you can then grate it. So that way, if you freeze your Parmesan cheese, it's not gonna go moldy, okay? So give me a shout out if you have one of our graters, if you love them, um, or if you grate your own cheese, and tell me why you should grate your own cheese. What's wrong with pre-shredded cheese? So think about that, because if I put this in a bag right now, all oh, this yummy Parmesan cheese, my kids love to just eat it. Um, if I put this in a bag, it'll clump together, right? So think about why it doesn't do that in your, um, with pre-shredded cheese. Why does that not clump together? But when you shred your own, it does, right? So Erin says, no wood in fresh cheese, correct. Debbie's saying, way cheaper to do your own. Yep, way, way cheaper to shred your own cheese, okay? So I'm gonna keep this open. I'll post the answer later. Um, why shred your own cheese? Enjoy.